Hello to all of my viewers. A particular commenter left me a question that he wants answered in relation to antinatalism, apparently, and so I'm going to answer his question in this video. Here it is. Quote, can you give examples of pleasures that do more than merely relieve discomfort with a subsequent explanation? And I want to note that his question is broken into two parts, so I'm going to give my response to the first and then the second part. Here's my response. Yes, a person might feel no pain or unhappiness whatsoever, but if such a person drank opium poppy tea, they would feel even better. Now, there is no intrinsic need for a person to have opium poppy tea, and someone might never have had it before, yet it can provide pleasure without relieving any pain. Another good example would be wonder at the universe. If I look at a picture of a galaxy, I feel a sense of awe and joy, but no reasonable person could claim that this picture is relieving something. It is merely causing me to feel a particular sensation because of complex reasons relating to evolution. Finally, in this regard, it would be a good idea to compare my examples to pleasures that actually do relieve some sort of suffering or discomfort, i.e. sex, drugs that one has become habituated to, food, water, protection from the elements, relief of directly experienced pain, etc., the difference in the case of my examples is that someone might have never thought about either of them. Indeed, they might have never even known that they existed, and yet they can bring about a sense of pleasure, whereas pleasures arising out of a need to relieve pain must be directly motivated by some form of pain that someone wants to relieve. Now I'm going to answer the second part of the person's question. Here it is, quote, Why would someone be creative if not to provide pleasure or avoid pain? And here's my response. Someone could be creative because they find something interesting. For example, one might bend down to look at an interesting insect. Now doing so does not provide any pleasure, at least not in the sense that most people mean when they talk about pleasure. Rather, wanting to know about something can simply be a desire disconnected from pain or pleasure and entirely based on something else. We can return to the example of opium poppy tea to better understand this example. The tea can put someone into a state in which they not only feel no pain, but also in which they feel about as much pleasure as could be reasonably wanted. However, even someone high on opium tea might take interest in something for the sake of interest alone. Now it's worth pointing out before I end this video that the example of creativity that I gave was not an example of creativity itself in a broad sense. It was an example of something that motivates potential creativity. For instance, someone might study an insect on their own time just looking at it and then from there they might be motivated to make contributions to evolutionary theory or some other theory. So I hope that answered the question and I wish you an excellent day.